Hello and welcome to the Mobility Outlook Studio at Auto Expo Component Show 2023. And I have with me today Mr. Ashok Pandey. He is Director at Freudenberg Filtration Technologies India. Ashok, welcome to Mobility Outlook. Thank you, thank you for calling me. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the current business situation, uh, current market situation, Ashok. Uh, emerging out of COVID and at the Auto Expo, how has business been overall? Okay, before I start, I would just like to mention the tagline because that defines quite a lot, which is we provide superior filtration solutions to improve quality of life. Sure. This statement itself makes a lot of things. It does. So uh, when I say this, uh, in the Auto Expo, basically our idea is also to create awareness, which we have been doing for quite a couple of years now, uh, educating people why the filters are important in day-to-day -day life, whether it is automotive or at your home or any other application wherein air is cons consumed. So that was the idea and that's what brought us also together along with the group as a company in this show. Here we are showcasing some of the products like which are used for automobiles, uh, for the passenger cabin cars. One is the basic filters, then we have the upgrade version of it, which is the activated carbon one. Then we are showcasing also the PM 2.5 filters, also anti-allergen filters, which has become quite an important thing after the pandemic, and fuel cell filters, which is the, fu the future technology. Yeah. Okay, what's been the response? Uh, uh, I would say yes, a lot of people are interested to know about the technology, and that's what the, our purpose is, because as far as uh, reaching out to OEMs and all, we are having quite a good presence among them. So our idea or our the sole purpose of participating was to showcase to the general user, to people who are interested to know about the technology and want to talk technical about it. We are not looking at selling something over here. That's not our sole purpose. Of course, if that happens, that's an added advantage. But our sole purpose is to educate the mass which we are getting quite a very good footfall. People are interested to know the technology. Got it. Considering the transition that we see, of course, you know, ICs continue to be a, you know, a, a, the bulk of the market currently. But when we look at the future, you've talked about fuel cells. What do you see would drive growth for Freudenberg in your business area in the coming years? See, uh, as of now, when IC engines were present, that were already providing us quite an ample scope for the passenger compartment. So how we see it is still a human being breathes air. Whether it is technology of IC engine or electric or fuels or anything else, the filtration for the air which comes through the AC would be there, right? So that market is going to stay. So how all these new technologies are giving us advantage and also opening up new opportunities are like the moment from IC engines now the cars or even the commercial vehicles are going towards the electric it is giving ample scope because the main engine is not there and only the motor is there so the space availability is there so we have also the option to put now better and a bigger filter right keep not compromising on the life but still enhancing the efficiencies means the more you go above in the efficiency, the lesser problem health-wise you have. Right. So all these things are opening up new avenues for us and also the moment fuel cell comes in, it becomes more popular like this part of the world. Definitely the requirement for fuel cell filters because you have to save your fuel cell pack also, that will grow. Humidifiers would be needed. So those product portfolio or the baskets are already complete with Frodenberg and we are ready to offer even to the Indian market. Okay. From an engineering R&D perspective, uh, you know, what's the kind of role that India is playing for Freudenberg in the filtration domain? Okay. See, uh, as far as the technology, the core technology is concerned, the core technology has been developed at our headquarters in Germany. But uh, same thing cannot work around the world, right? You have to look at individual regions, market, the air situation, pollution situation. So according to the requirement of consumer and the air pollution situation, we have done lot of internal work and lot of R&D for the requirements of India. And according to it, customize the filters. Good part is some of these 
things what we developed for Indian market is also working in Southeast Asia, rest of the places where the environment is almost similar. So according to the requirement of customer needs, and this is the concept on how Frodenberg works globally, that you first of all come up with your local needs, do the first level of engineering over there, and if the second level of support is needed to finally concrete it, then our team in Germany is sitting ready to help us out. Are the learnings from the Indian market that Frodenberg uh, sort of can use in other markets as well? Yes, for sure. As I said, that uh, since India, the pollution situation is quite bad, we all know, right? Similar conditions exist also in China and quite a couple of places in Asia. So after having this learning from India, uh, certain strategies have changed. Certain product requirements or certain product range for a certain countries have been upgraded according to what the learning was there from Indian market. So definitely one part learning is being implemented in other part of the world also. Okay. Okay. Beyond automotive, you know, uh, do you have filtration that you offer to other mobility areas as well? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, in Frodenberg domain, we call automotive basically whatever moves on your tires and right like passenger cars and buses but uh, we do have a segment we call it an industrial wherein we also serve uh, to the railways the metros aviations use a lot of hepas right people came to know more about it after the pandemic correct so aviation uses a lot of filters a lot of filters are being used in marine applications so we are serving to almost everywhere, wherever air is involved. Got it. So we are present. Over. What is the size of your automotive business in India? I would say uh, as of our current portfolio of India, it is almost like one third one automotive. Third. Yeah. And the others sort of contribute the remaining? Uh, the remaining others contribute. Right. All right. And, and going forth, you know, henceforth, you know, how do you see the market evolving for you? Where, where, where do you see, what are the pockets of opportunities that you see? within the automotive domain? See, within the automotive, uh, I'll say uh, it was very unfortunate that the pandemic came. But pandemic also taught a very good lesson. And the lesson was of hygiene. People awareness on hygiene level has gone up. Uh, it also gave a very good insight on people's thinking about air they breathe, right? If you see our display also, we have put a car with a mask. The main intention was to say that even if you are sitting in a car, please don't feel safe until unless there is a proper filtration. And this is what is taking us forward in future years also. Means general filters were being used for a couple of years now. Let us upgrade it. When I say let us upgrade it, let us bring it to the quality levels wherein you feel safe. For yourself, your family, your kids, whosoever is traveling in a car. Because most of the time, or I would say at least three to four hours every day, we are spending in a car in metros, right? And when you are stuck in traffics and all, the pollution level is so high, so high. you cannot imagine it. Very true. So those are the times when you really need to safeguard yourself. And this is what is opening new avenues for us in current segment of passenger also. What we are looking is bus segment, because bus segment, 40 people, 30 people traveling one go, right? There are a lot of uh, pollution, there are a lot of pathogens, bacteria, viruses which are floating in a bus around. So if you don't have a proper filtration in a bus, it is quite probable that everybody will get affected. Similarly, like in airplanes, if you don't have a proper filtration, Correct. one person has yes. caught a flu, it yeah can propagate. So buses are the second, commercial trucks we are looking, fuel cells of course as I said, definitely is going to be a very big avenue and new avenue for everyone. So these are the areas which definitely will give us a lot of potential in upcoming years. Okay. To address this growth, uh, you know, how do you sort of enhance your capacity, how do you building your capabilities in the country? Yeah. See, uh, in fact, I can say for the group itself that Frodenberg group is very serious and we have a very long-term approach. Uh, so almost all companies of Frodenberg as of now are either already in some phase of expansion or it's already in discussion. Similarly, for filtration, looking at the market growth also from the demand side, uh, 
uh, we are also expanding. I can say within next six to seven months time, our capacities would easily be doubled of what we are currently doing in terms of everything. So not only its production, space-wise, logistics, supply chain, everything is going to get across the platform. Okay, okay. Uh, some, some forecast for the next couple of years, mid, let's say the near to mid-term horizon, what's the kind of growth that you expect? See, frankly, I mean, if you ask me, I, am, I take challenges very seriously. I am looking for next five years at least to double it up. Wow. Right? It, it is, I would say, uh, not impractical. I am not being uh, too pessimistic or optimistic in saying in these things. But yes, I see a chance. And I am definitely for sure that this should happen. And uh, that's my challenge. What I'm I am really pushing my team for it. Excellent. So, so good talking to you. Thank you so nice much for sparing time. Thank you.